Hi. Sorry for the delay. Seems I hope this is not. Guys, do not think this is a pattern. No, it's not. Uh, you know this um, technical issue. Um, good day. Um, we are live right now. We are on live right now. Um, yeah, good day. We are set now. Right. Let me first and foremost apologize for the delay in transmission today. Um, this is one of those things uh, as um, technical issues you cannot override uh, this. Uh, let me just go straight to what we have today. We have um, plastering. We are discuss we are going to discuss about plastering today. Um, you remember when we started a few weeks ago, we started about foundation, the digging of the foundation, like we buy a land, buy a plot or half plot, um, depending on, it doesn't matter the size of the land, when you call, when you buy the land, you dig the foundation, you buy the materials, you buy granite, you buy cement, you buy sharp sand, you get your laborers ready and your contractor um, put the foundation bed. And then also you get your blocks, nine cheese blocks. Please let me just quickly send a note of warning here. Do not do six inches block. I've just seen one of our friends from Italy that was uh, not monitoring things properly. Uh, they started the foundation for her and then they started the used six inches block right for foundation to roof level. I'm sorry. Do not let them um, give you wrong. Um, um materials to use anyway that's just that so when you have done the foundation you've done the the, 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 the windows you read the window uh, the roof level you do the, you do the roof and then you put your 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 your, your windows whether it is a wooden one or the modern day the pvc one the aluminium one aluminium casing the one with burglary proof already installed to avoid holes in the wall then here comes the, the the finishing part of the house because at this stage thank you guys that are just joining us thank you very much please if you have not subscribed to this channel please i want you to subscribe now before we uh we end today's uh, transmission and also invite your friends to come over this is a channel that we that that, that is designed and um, uh, um, arranged to raise people's awareness and raise people's and re increase people's hope um, to, 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 to give you a kind of um, uh, um, advice and push um, those of us are abroad uh, right sorry let me just mention the Malaysian fans I got a few gentle and uh, few guys um, during the week that said no the show is not only for the people based in Europe in US um, in Canada, all the places are outside Nigeria. But he said, no, please. We are we in Asia, um, in Japan, anywhere in Asia, they are watching this channel. So invite your friends. Let's come up together and let's build a wonderful Nigeria. We are not going to be lost in um, abroad. We are here for greener pastures. We do. We face the um, We do the right thing. We are good people, normal people, doing the right thing. Up, um, um, obeying the laws of the land and we are doing, we are helping the countries where we are staying we are building the economy by the tax that we, we pay by uh, uh, the house by the rent we pay we are develop, de de developing their, in their, their economy because by, by part of the contribution that we make by following the law of the land doing the right thing, not getting into trouble not doing crime, the, the economy is building, don't forget that your money is part of what is making your hard work is part of what's making the economy of that country to be great so now enough of you supporting a foreign land enough of you putting your strength to great to, to increase the, the the economy to improve the economy of that country where you stay so now it is now time for you to look after yourself to look i know some of us will try to help people at um, home um help uncles brothers sisters 
to send them to school to sell for bills and things like that. Now, you know, this is now the moment where we can look back and say, How long have I stayed abroad? How long have I got left to stay? How long have I, how, how, what have I achieved in the past, when, you know, October 7th now? You look at January, right from January, February to now, what have I achieved? What have I done? I have remem you remember on this forum I mentioned that the, I keep saying and I will keep continue to say longest time we live, wherever we are, we should remember there will always be a landlord, there will always be tenant. Everybody cannot be tenant, everybody cannot be landlord. Now, you remember I mentioned that uh, there's a four year development plan that you got to make for yourself. Um, look at your what look at your life from January to date. Don't get me wrong, things might be rough, things might have been rough, but it, does, it doesn't have to be like that forever. But it all depends on you what you decide to do. But because if you don't give yourself a push, no one will push you. You remember, I'm sorry, I'm going to quote a little bit of, I'm not, I don't do church here, but we, it's part of the basic principle. The, the, the prodigal child said, uh, nobody advised him, he looked at his life, he looked at when he was in a foreign land. The political child, we well not a political child, but political, political child traveled to a foreign land to see if he can get a greener pasture. He took all the loot. I mean, he took his father's wealth or whatever that has given him. But when he came to himself one day, he woke up. He said, he looked at his lifestyle. What kind of lifestyle am I living? How many of my father's uh, um, um, uh, 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 um, servants He's living rough like this. How many of my father's servant is eating junk? How many of my father's servant is not eating what they want to eat? Now, I am going to go back to my father. My father is a blessed father. My father is rich. He will take me back. So, so prodigal child did not see, nobody re reminded him of his worth. You got to remind yourself of your worth. You got to remind yourself where you came from. You're going to remind yourself you're not a, a, a lazy person. You're going to remind of yourself of what you can do. The Bible says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthen me. You're going to look, look at this and look, I am a fit, I'm fit and able. I am going to go and invest in Nigeria. I, you remember, I told you that the next World Cup can come just like that. In 2022, Qatar, don't even go there. We're not even talking about the next World Cup. Thank you to eight, eight people on the line now. Sorry, let me apologize again for the delay. I've got quite a few issues with my system. And I'm now back on track now. Invite your friend, ring your friends, give them a ring, tell them, tell them. Larry is online now. We need to galvanize ourselves. You are not going to be in Europe forever. You're not going to be in Asia forever. You're not going to be in US forever. You're not going to be in, uh, in any outside forever. So look at what is happening. Look at what, what you have done so far. From January to October. We got how many months left? We won't be talking about Christmas. So you are you gonna carry your circumstances status quo to January? No, it's not gonna be there. Now Theresa May looked at Nigeria a few months ago and said we are we they found something good in Nigeria. And 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 they found something good in Nigeria that I'm being reminded to go to today's topic. Okay, I'll soon go to today's topic. It's plastering. Let me just remember. We're going to go to plastering. But this is just a kind of pet tour to start. So, Theresa May went to Nigeria because economy is in shambles in Europe at the moment. The, the dollar, you look at Venezuela, look at Venezuela, their money is like a, is a, like a toilet roll. It's like the trash that we're using to clean our floor. Look at in, 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 uh, in Turkey. If you're based in Turkey, sorry to use this um, um, uh, um, uh, reference. Turkey has a problem with with their economy at the moment because um, U.S. Donald Trump has done some uh, was trying to to bully them and of, of course who has money has business and they succumb and the economy is well. so those people in the, the economy will not get better so it is what you do with what you have that you can think you can say yes thank God I have done it I remember you remember on this story, this for I mentioned a friend. I invited him to come and buy land in September, August 2015. 600,000 naira was half plot, right? He said, I don't have money. And then this same plot of half plot of land, today, this is less than about three years back. This is 3.5 million naira. So anyway, let's leave that preambles. It's just to give us a pep talk. Right, today, we're going to be talking about plastering. 
plastering in this modern age is different from what it used to be okay um if you give me one second i can just cut just show you um what the plastering looks like in this modern day of age okay um we know plastering everybody thought plastering is just a beer wall no uh, technology has gone different now to the extent that uh, um we we have to the modern age has changed a lot of things because you see some plastering you will think how oh, did they do it um yeah with me i'm going to get the picture on board now um let's have a look at this okay we're going to look at this now um bear with me uh look at this look at this plus the plastering wall isn't forget about the bamboo stick that is all around it if you look at that this structure forget about the bamboos or the window what i'm trying to point out today see how smooth this plastering is see how smooth the plastering is see how smooth this is it hasn't been not paint at all even looking at this somebody will think oh they've given you a great paint no for those of you who have started a project or who are planning to start a project when it gets to this stage you need to do quality plastering it is called red um screeding sorry the, the term when your contractor is talking to talking to you about screeding do, don't be don't be don't, don't be don't be don't be don't be confused screeding is the modern day uh, plastering okay um if you want to do three if a three bedroom bungalow all right and you want to do plastering three bedroom on the bungalow you need a a a, 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 dish, uh, sorry, a man diesel load of uh, smooth sand uh which possibly um 20 tons um uh, can cost you in the average of 45 to 50 thousand naira so we're not having we're not fighting the issue of dollar we're just talking about naira here okay you would need 12 bags of cement uh for a three bedroom bungalow okay you will need um you will need a a, a, a cheaper 20 tons or 30 tons of smooth sand you need 12 bags of dangote or follow with your or horse or elephant bags of cement of course of course um um each bag of uh, of cement will cost you two thousand six hundred two thousand five hundred dollars now if you are in the area where it is a dry land you need uh, one tank of water okay one uh one, one sorry one thousand liter there could be one thousand liter that's what you need a, 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 about one thousand liter of water a day that will cost you four thousand naira okay right um sorry bear with me i'm trying to show you another image um let me look up guys please keep calling all your friends to come around like i said this is plastering this is it has not been painted at all this is just plastering or uh, it's called screeding 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 please take notes go and get a pen and paper and write down this is plastering of a modern age it's not just cement and and, and sharp sand or cement and sand this is modern modern day plastering and when somebody use their palm on the wall like this it is very very smooth you don't sometimes some people don't even paint their house for months for months for years because of the smooth and quality of the finish we are talking of good finishing plastering not the ones that you put your hands like this you are getting some scratches on your palm okay right let me get you another picture of the screeding picture okay which is already been screeded bear with me one second let me just uh i, I need to be doing it manually okay all right let me get you another one um do 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 okay, bear with me um i need to do it in such a way that i won't have to be going back and forth all right please please invite your friend on this um forum we have lots of things to discuss about plastering today so don't get messed up by any contractor that doesn't uh, or the time the terms that they're going to use okay so bear with me i'm going getting the image on the screen for you okay screed please note it down if they are talking about screed, 
because they, they, they will use the terminology and take more money from you. All right, bear with me. Um, bear with me. Just bear with me. All right. I just want to show you several images of how before the screen uh, before they do the screening. Okay. And it doesn't cost a, 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 um, as well. It's just the normal. You just have to know what you are going to tell your 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 uh, your contractor. Uh, the once you mention this to your contractor, you will know that you are not the kind of person they can cheat. Okay, just bear with me. I'm trying to get all the images together. Bear with me, please. Um, I got that right. Bear with me. Oh no, I've done it twice now. Okay, bear with me. Uh, where are these pictures now? Okay, the JPEG four. Bear with me. Uh, I hope I didn't get all the wrong ones. Right. I don't know whether this is the one. If you, in case I want the line, I'm scrolling the pictures and uh, they don't. I will explain to you because I'm trying to get them together and I make more explanation on this. Please bear with me. Right, okay, enough of that. Maybe the four illustration will do. Yeah, with me. Okay, um, I might have to stop there. Um, where's the other one now? Just one minute. Oh, no. Hmm. Just bear with me. I'm going to come back to that. Oh, microphone. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry about this. Uh, I'm coming. One minute. Right. Um, this is, uh, when the house get to this stage, okay. Right. When it gets, to, hi Jeff. Ah, how are you? Thank you, thank you, Jeff. Thank you for coming on the show. Please tell your friends that quite a lot of people are still having, that are still in this this wilderness abroad. They don't know they are left or right, especially the ladies. They are slapping them left and right. I like uh, the people are busy. Please, this is a form to sensitize us of what we need to do with our money. We want art and we don't want to be swindled. Right. The image that you're seeing here, okay, is just to tell you some of the stage before it gets to plastering, okay? Right. That's the beer wall there. Um, the, that, that's the beer wall before they, 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 we start the screening, okay? So that's uh, that. That's uh, it's already reached the roof stage. The owner of this house uh, has done parapet. That is it. That's that's that is the image before the before before plastering. That is the image before plastering. Thank you, ten people. Hello, Mr. Coker. How are you? Hello, how are you? What can I do for you? Bring your questions. Anything that you don't understand, we discuss it. We we are like a family on this forum. We are not. We do, there's no four one nine. We are trying to help one another. Thank you, all the, all the ten of you that are online now. Now, anything you that is you are not sure, bring it on board. We will tackle it together. We will save you money. We will save you heartache. We will save you um, your pocket. We will, we will put money in your pocket. We bring we put hope into your family. That doesn't mean that doesn't mean that there are no people are not. If you are not careful, if you don't plan very well, you are, you, you are planning to flee. Now. If you have been messed up in your project in the past, now is the time to listen and plan well with us, right? There's no way the, the, the risk life is a risk. So you you got to say if you say yeah, that is the past. They are, that one has happened and I'm moving on and I'm going to do another thing. You can you look at beauty, Nigeria is beautiful, Nigeria is blessed. When you go home, as long as you know what you are doing. You can make it. You can build a house within a year. You can build a house within 12 months. You, you don't need the whole big land. Half plot. You can build a lot on half plot. 
quarter of a plot. Somebody just bought a quarter of a plot for one million naira. Tell me. But it all depends on the location of where you want to buy a house, okay? Buy, buy the land, okay? So there is this scroll down at the bottom there. So let me um, go back to this greeting, okay? Um, it's just unfortunate I didn't have much um, images on screening. Now, what you see here, bear with me, let me just go back to that. Um, bear with me, I'm, I'm going to see no auto next. I'm going to go to the beginning. All right. Um, right. This image here, sorry that I'm going too fast. Bear with me. This image you are seeing here has not been painted. This house that you are seeing here has not been painted at all. But it is the modern day plastering. Okay? It is modern day plastering. It is not just a brick a one brick layer with um, sharp sand, smooth sand and uh, cement. They smash it on the wall. They put it on the wall. They put some water at the bottom of it and they will leave it for, to dry for another, uh, another day. No. Now, this rent uh, screening is called is the fine finish when you see it you will love your project when you apply screening plastering you will love your project you don't have to paint it for months because the beauty of it is that first and foremost bear with me let me just um see if i can get you um yeah screening is a fine Thin layer of plaster, okay, applied over cement to give a smoother, final finish than the regular plaster that all our brick, the brick layers normally use. This can give this. It's it's not as hard as a cement plaster, right? So it is possible for um, possible to sandpaper it when you fill it, when you do your normal. Uh, 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 plastering it, 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 it's rough right then there's a machine that they can use to sandpaper it there's a sandpaper machine if you just go up and down up and down up and down up and down they will scan sandpaper it up and down to, uh, to give it a fine smooth finish when paint when we paint it it shines and when you put paint on it it doesn't the the, the glare of the light don't show on it. It doesn't. It doesn't glare. Okay. It is possible that on the some paper, some paper, it, when the paint when they not paint it, it doesn't make the the wall the wall the, paint, the wall to be shiny and be glaring like glass inside the house. All right. The level of the, the, you will see uh the, the when when you when you when you start doing this then they start doing the screening you will see all the bumpy bumpy. You don't need polyfiller. Then you see all the cracks, all the holes. He gives it fine smooth. You don't see some houses when they plaster it, they see some small, small, small holes around. And when they plaster it, you still see because there will be more cement than sand in some places. Uh, but this one, the screening, the screening is we, we blend everything together before painting. So to see all the errors, uh, when you not use emotion paint, okay, when you use emotion paint, when you use emotion paint. You, you can you 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 it will make it a fine 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 finish okay um hello coca i'm sorry I, I i hope you're hearing me hi coca right please take heed of what i'm telling you all right that, that people have been asking for the four hundred thousand dollar land please Please don't let's not put all our fingers in our mouth. The way today is might not be like that tomorrow. The way today is might not be like that this same time next year. It is investment you do that you are always you will go to bed and be thinking of it. Ah, thank you. Thank God I have done this investment. 
Nigeria is a place of 100% profit. Nigeria is a place where you buy something today, tomorrow is not the same. Please take heed of this five photo and find your level. Find the level, find the land you can afford. And pray that even if you don't build it, you will get pro your profit when you resell it. And if you want to do um, a farming, you can buy six acres of that 400,000 naira. Some of us, the money of 400,000 naira is just a token that we give girlfriends or we buy gifts for somebody when they are doing some birthdays or by doing some ceremony so i can guarantee you this is something that will better your life in the next oh thank you my brother thank you this is something that you will look back in the next three four years in qatar 2022 and say you will fact, you will be praying for me that thank god this man open my my heart open my mind direct me give me the opportunity to make an investment you don't have to buy land from us but please do not throw this word of advice away because the, you will come back and say thank you that I'm, i participate in this forum all right so this greeting let me just um, go back to my 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 topic of the day bear with me there's a um um the one for the three bedroom um bungalow I'm going to give you a rundown of the cost of screening. Right, let me show you the image again. See the fine finish of the building. I, I, I haven't got more images for you. After this, you can go and check the meaning of screening. Screening is a very fine finish. After you have put your roof, you put the window, you put all, and you do the, want, when you do want to do the plastering, it corrects all bumps all around the wall. And so that when by the time you put your paint on it, oh my god, you yourself you, you, want, you don't want to go back abroad anymore because you see what your money have done for you. Okay, so this scroll if you want, people have been calling for the land, they have been inquiring about the land, cheap land, expense. There's no land that is that is expensive here, so it's up to you uh, to, 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 to take the run with the information you are getting on this forum. Okay, um, let me try and uh, bear with me and get you okay let me see what this one can uh, that's 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 not screening yeah that screening is not dried yet that's screening finish there that is screening, screening finish okay screening yeah it's in preparation for screening and you see all these holes that you are seeing here, some bricklayers, when they, if they don't use screening, it doesn't always, always cover it. You, the hole is always, some, some, somehow, pops out in years to come. The holes pops out in years to come. And then you see, when you, when you are the kind of person that, that, that knows quality things, you can easily spot something that is not right. Okay? All right, bear with me. Right, that is the wall. Bear, bear, uh, nine inches block that has not been, been plastered. Okay, so that's that same image again. Anyway, let me just get out of that and they give you the uh, breakdown of the uh, plastering of a three bedroom house. Bear with me. Okay, I will get. We are not going to stay long at all today. Um, but I believe that the information I'm going to give you. Those of us who are just about to start their project, or those of us that are, uh, that are already doing a project, okay, um, you will find it very useful, okay? Just bear with me. Um, right. When we talking of uh, plastering, a three-bedroom Sorry about that. Three bedroom bungalow, outside wall plaster. 
There will be, let me see how many people are on the forum at the moment. Yeah. Oh, hi, Jeff. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Kazim, how are you? How are you? You're not going to work. When are you going to work? Because I know about this time you normally go to work in Canada. God bless you, my brother. But we all make it together. Don't worry. Just give it. Give, look at what has happened since January. You remember we did not start this forum in January. We only started this forum just only a month and a half ago. And people's lives have been turned around with the level of high quality information we are, we are unfolding on this forum. So people's life within one and a half months, I have seen lives has been changed. A woman in Italy, 25 years, she said she will not go back to Nigeria anymore because all the family members have drained her. She has swore. <laughs> she swear you're not there. When this woman is crying, anytime she talks to me, she cries and cries and cries. I said, don't worry. You see, when you cut the tree or banana tree, the person that cut it, that's that's that. But the banana tree will come up again. That is the banana tree analogy. When you cut down the banana tree, it will come back again. So if you have been messed up in the past, it, they just want to give you long life to build better things on earth, to do better things. So this forum is to wake people up. Oh, my brother, you are going to work soon. Okay, is to galvanize people, is to give you a push, is to 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 make you work at the hand pick and work smart. You don't have to be in this, this place. This terrain is not built for black people. It's not built for us. We are here to better our life, to improve, and then take what we can take and go back and invest it. So you have to do what you have to do something to make things, yes, to get what you guys you can get. You can be coming and going, take what you can take, go and invest in Nigeria. I spoke to a gentleman on, on Friday. He's a, he's, he's, a, he's learning nurse. Uh, he's going to he's doing nursing in UK here. He said as soon as he finishes, he wants to buy six plots of land in Ibadan. He said he wants to start a clinic. He said the land is by as soon as he finishes his course, he's going to start a clinic. In Why can't he say when I finish, I'm going to stay here? No, he said he has a bigger vision. So you have to think big. In the ne in January, we said so. I was I didn't start this all in January. January, February, March, April. This is the tenth month of the year. So the remaining three months, you will do something that will shock your enemy. You will do something that you say, Ah, thank God, I did this. Thank God, I implemented this. Thank God, I take so. It's not easy. Or don't get me wrong. It's not easy. Anything that is going to be good is never going to be easy. Anything that is going to that is not good is easy. But if you are going to have a house, you are going to deny yourself on so many things. And by the time you finish it, you will be say, ah, you will look back, thank God. So people's life have been turned around in this past one and a half months. So and that is the news I want to be hearing. That's positive news. We are showing positivity into our life. So you are abroad, think twice. Before we move to December, Christmas is coming. Are you going to go to another year without taking a positive and quality decision? As to, it doesn't matter how long you spend in abroad, in Asia, in China, because our Asian friends, they challenge me, they say, I don't mention them. So I'm mentioning you now. It doesn't matter how long you have stayed wherever you are, outside in Nigeria. It is how well, how, whatever you have done, with that, with your, some people they are here for years, but they refuse to take on board what they have been seeing, what they see day and night when they go out, when they enter the bus, when they take the train. It is for them to acquire that knowledge and introduce it back to where they come from. So it's up to you. The people's life have been changed. This one and a half months we started this forum, and I want you, your life. To also be changed. If, if you have been doing something before and you slow down, it is high time you not say no. You know, but there are some people they start project they never complete it. They will start a project is is like a course. They will start foundation. They will buy land here. They take it from there. They will buy something here. They take it from there. They buy something here. They do they do something. They never complete it. It's not a course. It is you that you are going to say no. Enough is enough. Just like the prodigal child said. I am going back. I can never. I, I, I've had enough. I, nobody spoke.
to him. He slept, he sat down one day and said, Ah, oh my God, why is my life like this? The moment he realized that the way he's living is not right, then that thing, his life changed suddenly. And he said, Right, I'm going back to my father. The same way, what have, have you what have you done? Says Dalari. If you have not done anything, start thinking, start putting plans together of whatever you can do. We can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. We can do anything. We are human beings. It is whatever you condition your mind or yourself to that you can achieve. There's nothing we cannot achieve. Okay? So let's go back to our 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 our, our discussion. So if you are going to do um a three-bedroom bungalow, the outside wall plaster. You need a, a, a lorry load of 30, 20 to 30 tons, between 45 and 50,000 naira. You need 12 bags of cement, dangote, elephant, horse. There's another one that they, they're telling me that is good for, for decking. Um, I don't want to buy that, but I'm, I'm familiar with dangote and elephant very well. Horse is for that wheel. Um, then you need in your site you need um, a tank, a GP tank or Soros tank. Some they are not more than twenty thousand to twenty five thousand naira. You are asked to buy buy water for the site that you have to be using. And if you are blessed that you have uh, your, your 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 site has some water coming out somewhere, then you don't need to buy. You just get one laborer that will be fetching the water for your brick layers to be using. So, um, labor for um, the plastering of a three bedroom bungalow outside wall, you can pay between 100 and 20,000 hours. So, you just compare this, but it doesn't necessarily mean that is what you're going to pay. But this is the average amount that they can take for this. Okay, let me see how many people are on the phone now, if you have any questions. If you have any questions, please send it across. Uh, next Sunday, we're going to be tackling questions and we're going to be answering questions. So, get your questions ready for next Sunday. Okay, I've got five minutes more on this forum today. I'm not going to do um, one hour plus. So, it is it is not how long, like I said, it is our way. So, it is not how long you stay abroad, but what the end result, the end product that you're going to get. For your stay in you in abroad, Asia, US, um, Europe, um, some parts of Africa that you are staying. Don't forget that I told you those of us that love good cars. There's nothing wrong buying good cars, but there is depreciation. There is depreciation in cars when you buy a ten thousand dollars car today. <coughs> excuse me, or ten thousand pound. <coughs> excuse me. Or ten thousand cars pounds car today, or ten thousand euro today, or ten thousand whatever currency of the country you are. The moment you drive it away, you cannot resell that car. And every year, the indices, the record we are having, the information we are getting back is that the car car loses its value by a thousand dollar, or a thousand pounds, or a thousand euro, or a thousand of that currency of that country per year so but the most wisest thing you can have a car you don't have, you don't have to not you can't walk around if you, 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 you need to buy a car yes you buy but you don't have to invest on cars you can invest in a land you got one thousand dollars one thousand dollars multiplied by three hundred dollars three thousand three hundred thousand dollars we buy you a plot of land a plot of land you leave it for the next six months or one year or two years Oh, you are smiling to the bank. And anybody who is clever can buy four plots. Leave it. Let them farm for you. They can, you can tell them to the... No, I'll give it to Malam. To the, to the, to the, to the farming on it. And uh, it's, they, are, they are working on it so that they will not encroach on it. In the next World Cup, 2022, we just finished one World Cup. You are smiling to the bank. They are not even that. One of the acres... Six plot or five plots, you can sell two of it. The money you realize from it, you will use it to build the land and build the house on that on that project. You you will use it to build. So now the level of that one that I said, three bedroom bungalow, you outside plastering, um, is 
Screeding plastering. So sand, uh, smooth sand, uh, one lorry load, you get 12 bags of cement, you get uh, one uh, tank of water, the labor is 120,000. Total, 184,000. The inside plastering. If you need to do the inside, the inside of the plaster, okay, be with me. I'm coming to tell you, give you the, the analysis. Um, if you are going to do the inside, okay, the inside of the three bedroom, uh, you will need a uh, two tippers of load of sand, two tippers load of sand, 21 bags of cement at 2500 naira or 2600 naira. You need two tanks of 1000 1, 1, liters of water. Right? Now, and then the labor, you, will, you can pay between 184,000 naira. Okay? So, indirectly, you are spending about 500,000 500, to plaster inside the house, and then you use. Um, in between uh, 184,000 to plaster outside, okay. And this screening, like I said to those of you that are just coming late to the show, screening is a kind of plastering that they use modern day. When your contractors start talking about mentioning these kinds of uh, terms, don't get confused. Screening is a smooth plastering. It is not. It is beyond. The uh, the the use of sh uh, smooth sand and sorry, bear with me. My, my, my computer is closing down window. Sorry, I will, sorry, I'm going back. Screening is uh, oh, because it was that. So the amount will double for six bedroom. Yes, so no, no, it all depends because Kazim, I think your project is in the battle. You might get away with some prices. This is Lagos prices. I'm trying to give you now, Kazim. Um, yeah. The, the price of the that I'm giving you is Lagos price and you have to be very clever and sharp to negotiate with your contractor. If your contractors know that you are abroad, you are from abroad, they will double the price for you. But you because you have an idea of what we are talking about, you can negotiate. Alright? Um you can negotiate uh further. So screening is that smooth and okay? that's all. for those of you that are joining late, this video will be processed by google um will be processed by google and then you will have access to watch it about half an hour at the end of this show so if you missed anything you can go back and rewatch it so um you can go back and rewatch it you will be able to hear and see all the images but you can't you can't revive you can't go back now you will see the images of some of the things we have presented so when next sunday we're going to be tackling questions and answer okay like I said, if your family member or uncle or somebody has messed you up in terms of trying to say they're going to help you buy this, buy that, and you they didn't get it for you, and you, because of that you say, that's it you have done with uh, Nigeria. No, it is not like that. If Theresa May can say there's something, they spotted something about Nigeria economy, Nigeria economy at the moment is the seventh largest in the world. Forget about what the politicians and uh, what, they, what they are doing. It is you now, about you yourself, not about Forget about what, every, what, what is happening to other people. It is you and what you can get for yourself. Forget about uncle or auntie. You are now focusing on yourself of what you can get out. Now, 10 months is gone. You evaluate yourself. What have you done? What plans have you done? What, what business have you tried to achieve? What are you intending to achieve um, before the next end of the year? Or make a plan that in January or in the new year, this is my proposal. You start looking at looking looking for ways of how to achieve it. It is possible. Human beings are very uh, adjustable to any condition, any circumstance. The same way you can condition your finances, your income, your whatever that is coming in, you can always you can save. There is nothing difficult. You just need to do some cuts uh, in your finances. So if you have never done any any project before. This is a good forum. Ask us questions. We will help you. We are not 419. We don't do 419. As long as you pay the, the money we request, not something that is going to tear your pocket or break your pocket. So we will help you. We will guide you. This is what this forum is all about. There is a clarion call waking Nigerians abroad, any part of the globe, that 
the terrain where you are is not for you. You need to take back, take things back home and invest. Because if you have money, you have business. Theresa May spotted Nigeria that there is a, the indices all over the world is pointing that Nigeria is blessed. Things are cheap. I told you I've never bought a full tank petrol in UK in my life. I went to Nigeria. A full tank petrol in UK for the venue of the car will cost you 70 pounds. But Nigeria, 7,000 naira. I bought a full tank. Yes, yeah, we are all producing country, but that is very cheap. I even gave the, the, the petrol attendant cheap and I was so happy. So it is now you've got to be thinking of yourself. What have you done from January to date? Now, we are all going to be thinking of, of Christmas. We are going to be thinking of winter. Winter is not coming. You are going to be buying all those uh, 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 with uh, snow is coming. That, that means the year is coming to an end. So what exactly have you decided to do? Even if it's just a piece of land. Dream is when you put into practice, you put an effort into it. Nothing will ever ever achieve itself if you don't put yourself on that line and push yourself and governize yourself because woman being is we can condition ourselves you remember the circumstance the lifestyle the way before we came abroad we can manage this we manage that if we can manage this then and we don't we don't die how can you die when you give you cut and cut and cut to save money to buy and invest you don't have to invest in wherever the country you are because the investment of that country is for that country. But Nigeria, home is home. You will get it. You, you can do it. You can always do it. Like I said, the prodigal child, analogy, is the guy woke up. He did not need, he did not get any friend. And tell him, you know, you are a prince. Likewise, you. Everybody is a prince and princess. Now, the prodigal child did not need any pastor to tell him, you know, the way you are living is wrong. You are living a rough life. The food you are eating with the with the with the with the servant, the, with the swine. Nobody taught him, nobody preached the Bible to him, but he came to himself, he came to his senses and said, No, I've got to change my life now. I've got to change the way I'm doing things. I got to move on. I got to give myself a push and then I'm, I'm investing. Forget about all the stories that people are saying here and there that ah, if you go to Nigeria, they're gonna swindle you, they're gonna take your money. But people are going there. They don't take their money. They are investing. So it's up to you now. Okay? Right. Like I said, I've got just barely a couple of minutes to go. Right. So if you have questions, please bring it on board. Um, and if you need to rewatch this video, you can do so. If you're just coming onto the forum, um, when I, when I uh, have, um, end the broadcast today, um, um, today, you can rewatch it in the next 30 minutes, I think, or 20 minutes, it will be available. And uh, because um, usually Google normally process it to see whether it's something that is uh, not um, friendly or something that is abusive or something that is uh, not right uh, with um, 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 people or if the people are complaining about it before they can release it. So, um, Everybody knows that this is more of a positive, um, uh, from the feedback I'm getting, it's more of a positive, you know, up, um, upliftment for our people that are based abroad. So you can go back in the next maybe 15 to 20 minutes, he will be available for you to watch. Um, and those of you who wants to invest for the first time, I uh, will uh, recommend this. Um, Right, yeah, you can ring me. You can, you know, okay, this, I've got, yeah, I don't have, oh, all right, you can, this is my phone number. If you don't have WhatsApp, my number, my number is this. Um, obviously, you have to put plus four four. I'm based in UK, um, is um, plus four four seven eight two five five four three five three five. Or if you even want to email me, or email me at D special seven seven at gmail 
youtube.com so whichever way you want to contact me i'm i'm not scary i'm trying to make people's life more visible people's life more positive people's life with 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 substance there is substance in everybody take take note of this what he has taken us to be where we are today some of us the journey that has taken us the cost the cost monetary cost the 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 the, 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 the labor cost that has taken us to before we even get ourselves settled in whichever country we are based let me be honest with you you are a champion okay and champions never never uh, relax champions is always winning so for you to win the battle of investment you got to deny yourself you got to look at like it i used to be very hard working a lot of us have relaxed so take advantage of it i'm begging of you because the next four years, I told, oh my God, I, I told somebody on this, I told a friend, 2015 August, this guy has money in his hand. I said, let's go and share a plot of land in Nigeria. He said, I don't have money. This guy is richer than me. He said, I don't have money. I said, look, I have a plot of land, 600 or 700,000 naira. By the time we gave him a million, Put it in seven hundred thousand. That land today, oh my God, <laughs> that land, that half plot, is three point five million naira. I'm telling you, three point five million. Just three. It's like like a chicken change. Then six hundred thousand. Let me be honest with you. There are ways and manners to get this. You can borrow money. You can sell. I love you. Ah, thank you. Uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Bimbola, how are you? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you, too. God bless you, too, sir. Thank you. Please invite friends. A lot of people have friends are very dear. They, they don't believe anything. That some, I, don't, I know some people here. They don't want to hear anything about Nigeria. They're so, they're so, it's so bad that I, and I don't blame them. I don't really, really blame them. Things are so bad. People are so messed up. To the extent that they don't, nine, they don't want, nine, before you spell D, they already, they're taking flights through the window. They don't want to associate with you once you start anything about Nigeria. If things are so bad, but let me be honest with you, maybe that is what some people need to wake up. A wake up, wake up call. People, see, if it, if it, this is, this is the same thing when you are in a relationship for the first time you have a girlfriend you've never had a girlfriend in your life most often times the first girlfriend that you have is not the person you finally marry the first girlfriend or the first boyfriend that you have in your life as a as a as a woman being does is not always the person that you will settle with because you have to gain experience is either you're messed up by that guy or, or by that girl and that is your, your platform that you're going to use. The, 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 this is platform you're going to use to relate with other because you've learned a lesson, you've acquired an experience now to relate with the, the, the new girlfriend or the new boyfriend you are. Same thing is when you have already entrusted your, your, your thing to somebody you trusted in Nigeria, maybe you are doing export. You do export to Nigeria, you're throwing, you're throwing things, like, uh, you're sending cars home, uh, you're sending van home, you're sending items home for them to sell, and then in the end, you don't get money back. Right. Doesn't necessarily mean that's the end of things. You don't, the fact that you, 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 you had a problem at some point doesn't mean that you cannot reinvest. Yeah, that is an experience. Right. You now look at it and say, look at what you, what experience you have there and say, how did I do it? How did I make it? Why did they swing me? Then you now put figures, indices together to be able to champion and not go through that route again and then invest. But you, by the, with the wisdom, the experience you had last time will be your platform to now become better. So the same way. So don't rule out investing or getting something in Nigeria. Sometimes you can remain quiet. You don't have to involve, involve 
family members or those people that have messed you up before you can you can do it with people that once you pay little money here and there you you, you the bible says a, a man's way a man's gift makes a way for him a man's gift you bless people you're going home you buy shirt for this you buy that you don't you you make friends your friends will help you come around your gift that you have been giving people will become will become your your protection on future so you don't worry there is there is hope for every one of us abroad so like i said this terrain is not is not built purposely for you to live forever abroad in asia in malaysia in europe in america in canada in australia in london in you in italy i've got so many fans for in italy and i've been getting encouraging um information news that their life people's life is being turned around thank they are thanking me it's not me it's god they are coming say, saying thank god for this forum okay so um finally i'm going to drop the draw the curtain here um, i've been on this show for um 55 minutes now like I said, I didn't even know I'm going to do 55 minutes. So, um, take advantage of the land here. Go and borrow money. Yes. I've, I've, I've been, um, when I came to UK, I struggled to pay my rent of £75 a, a week. Uh, I, I, it's, it's a struggle to pay. I owe debt. I owe arrears of rent. Now, the same person who owes arrears of rent becomes a homeowner. Right, I pay. I decided the day I said I'm going to buy a house. I decided I put figures together, and God helped me. And I put the, big, the deposit down. And I, for two years, somebody who's paying, who's, who's struggling to pay arrears, who's struggling to pay seven hundred, I'll not pay seven hundred pounds, one thousand five hundred pounds as mortgage, and I own more than twenty one house. So it is, a, it is something that you can do. There's nothing that we cannot do. If I can do it, you can do it. So right, it is just a possible. It is just. A, 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 a word to galvanize people. People will wait. People are buried their head in the sand. You cannot say because you've been messed up um, or you've been messed up by one girlfriend. Did you not eventually get married to a better woman or a better man? So that is the way you're going to look at life. Okay? There's always going to be a, a, a learning curve where you're going to learn. And then that what you learn from there will be the thing that is going to help you for um, the next. Um, um, Thank you. I've already sent you an email. Okay, I'll, I'll look at that, Kazim. I'll look at that. I'm going to draw the curtain today, all right? And those of you that have um, been part of the forum, please invite friends. Invite friends. We're not doing 419 here. Um, uh, we're not doing 419. We're, we're trying to make sure that our life can only get better by the level of the amount of quality information that we share uh, with each other. The Bible says, my people perish because of lack of knowledge. This is knowledge. This is an information that you can run with. And if you, if you know, if you can take advantage of it and practice it, it is not, a, it is not <laughs> in the next you are coming back to praise me. Believe you me. I'm telling you, if you take one of the little information you get on this forum and run with it, you're not going to swear for me. You're going to be praising me because I've already been getting praises from a lot of people. Um, don't get caught up with 419 family members, 419 um, uh, uh, contractors. Um, if you don't understand anything, my number is there. You can WhatsApp me. I will find, if I don't know, I will find out for you and give you an answer, okay? So, on this note, these few seconds that I've got here, please don't say you cannot do it. If the prodigal child can think and realize, I said, the status quo, the state at which I am living, I don't like it, I'm going back to my father. And he turns his life around by one day reasoning to evaluate is life and said please i'm not going to live like this anymore so we're going to the end of the year if you have not got any plans to do any project start planning and start thinking right now and if you had a project already you've abandoned it or you are the kind of person once you do one thing is not finished it's taken away from you 
you do one thing, it's never finished, it has become a pattern in your life, this time around, my prayer for you, you will be a completer, you will be a finisher, you will make it, the Bible says we will live in, we will build a house, we will live in it, that's what it is, anything good, anything great, anything beautiful, we should think of it, think of a positive future for yourself, you, are, you have a hope, you have a future, on that note, I'm going to draw the curtain, I will say, bye-bye to you all. On Sunday again, we will come on this forum with another lovely topic. So bring your picture, uh, no, bring your questions, and we will all talk it together. So, um, I want to say good night, uh, well, this is good night in, from Europe, good night um, from any part, uh, anywhere, and goodbye from friends in Canada, um, in US, in California, any part of the globe, Asia, wherever you are. I want to say thank you for staying for um, staying tuned. I will see you next Sunday. And if I have any other thing that I need to discuss with you midweek, um, I, I will come back on this forum. This is your host, uh, Larry Doom. Uh, God bless you all. And uh, keep thinking of a positive way of investing. Uh, we will all get there in Jesus' name. Thank you.